Hello. Um, for this problem, it says from 1980 to 2004, the number of the number B of federally insured banks could be approximated by this equation, where T is the year and T sub zero is 1980. So we're starting at 1980. How many federally insured banks were there in 1985? Um, T would be the number of years after 1980. And so 1985 minus 1980 would be 5. So you plug 5 in for T. Oops. So if we plug in 5, negative 322.8 times 5 plus 13,709 will give you 12,095 banks. To find the slope, the slope, because it's y equals mx plus b, the slope is the negative 322.8. It is attached to your variable. So it's just the equation y equals, this would be mx plus, and this would be your y-intercept. So it's the negative 322. Interpret the slope as the rate of change. It's always um, t is the year. So each additional year, the number of banks decreases because it's negative by 322.8. The number of banks decreased by per year. Okay, it's decreasing by your slope. So none of these are correct, except it's either the 322.8, either one of them. But because this is a negative, it's the decreased. So the number of banks decreased by 322.8 each year. Find the y-intercept. The y-intercept from your equation is the one that doesn't have a variable. If you plugged a zero in for t, that's the value you would get as your y-intercept. And so it's the 13,709. The y-intercept is when t is zero. And t is zero in 1980. So let's see. The y-intercept is the number of banks in 1980. It's the minimum number of banks. The y-intercept is the Number of okay, so T0, that's your y-intercept. It's when the T is 0. And that's in 1980. So this value, 13,709, is the number of banks in 1980.